Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, AMD promises more stock. A 100,000 core Zen 3 monster, Zen 3 Plus gets cancelled, Intel's 12th gen CPUs and discrete gaming GPUs are terrible, and next gen Ryzen is a monster. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, I have some good news for those hoping to pick up an RX 6000 GPU before the end of the year. During AMD's Q1 earnings call, the company's CEO, Lisa Su, stated, quote, We introduced our Radeon 6700 XT desktop CPU with leadership 1440p gaming performance in March, and are on track for the first notebooks featuring our leading-edge mobile RDNA 2 architecture to launch later this quarter. We expect Radeon 6000 series GPU sales to grow significantly over the coming quarters as we ramp production. So, if you notice, that actually says two things. For one, AMD makes it clear that they are still planning to launch their RX 6000 mobile lineup later this quarter, which isn't a big surprise. AMD said at CES that they would be coming in the first half of this year. That and we've seen AMD add support for the 6600M in their newest adrenaline driver. Now back to this, Lisa Su also stated that they're ramping up production in the coming quarters and expect sales to grow quote, significantly. And that means we should actually begin seeing more stock. Of course, I don't want to give anyone false hope or anything like that, but this is coming directly from AMD. And I definitely love it when we hear things directly from the company but not as much as I love listening to a good book with today's sponsor, Audible, today's leading provider of audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. And that leading provider part means you're always able to find the perfect title, whether it's finance, technology, sci-fi, comedy, and so much more. There's thousands of audiobooks to discover, like this complete guide for becoming a software developer. Plus, with their new Audible's Plus catalog, you get tons of audiobooks to listen to and podcasts to follow. And all of it is included with your subscription. Oh, and you get to download the titles so you can listen offline. The best part is that you can try Audible for free today by visiting audible.com slash gamermeld or text gamermeld to 500-500 today. Next up, a new monster of a computer is set to come with a whopping 100,000 Zen 3 CPU cores. The story originally comes from the Register, where Singapore's National Supercomputing Center announced a new supercomputer built by the HP Enterprise Division. The computer is set to cost a whopping 30 million US dollars and gets an impressive 10 petaflops of computational power. To get there, HP is using AMD's newest third gen Epic processors and an unbelievable 352 A100 chips from Nvidia. One interesting fact is that according to this, it's set to be the first warm liquid cooled system in a tropical environment. Ultimately, the supercomputer is set for an early 2022 release date and is set to help with the thing that shall not be named, urban planning, and a lot more. Next up for today, we have a big story on AMD's upcoming Ryzen CPUs. If you follow the channel, you know that we've seen multiple rumors claiming that AMD is planning to launch their next-gen Ryzen 6000 on Zen 3 Plus. That is, a small jump in performance using TSMC's 6 nanometer node, but still possibly moving to a new AM5 platform. Basically, we would have to wait for Ryzen 7000 before getting to 5 nanometers. Well, according to Red Gaming Tech, Moore's Law is Dead, and others, that release, codenamed Warhol, has been cancelled. According to the reports, it's from the shortages and so AMD can focus more on their 5 nanometer Zen 4. Now, some claim that there never was a Zen 3 Plus, that it was just 7 nanometer Zen 3 like an XT refresh, and that's really what I originally thought this Zen 3 Plus was. One leaker claims that Zen 3 Plus is cancelled, but that there is a refresh 7 nanometer XT series coming. Meaning instead of moving to 6 nanometers, AMD would likely sell refined 7 nanometer Zen 3 chips with higher clocks. Whichever one ends up happening, I'm glad we likely won't be seeing some stopgap for an entire year while waiting for 5 nanometers Zen 4. Next up for today, Intel's upcoming Alder Lake, as well as their discrete gaming GPUs, may not be all that great. For starters, if you remember not long ago, we saw a slide that claims Intel's upcoming 12th gen would get up to a 20% increase in single-threaded performance and up to two times the multi-core performance. Well, in a new story from a known leaker on the South Korean forum Client.net, it looks like the performance isn't anywhere near what Intel was aiming for. 
As you can see, the leaker claims that Alder Lake's performance is around 40% lower than Intel predicted. And I mean, that's not a small number. What's worse is that according to this, Intel isn't wanting to delay it anymore. Remember that Intel promised a release this year, and given their 11th gen was also released, it's clear that they're in a hurry. Not only that, but the leaker also claimed that Intel's upcoming gaming GPUs aren't that great. They will apparently be much cheaper than AMD and Nvidia, but he claimed that the gaming performance isn't good. Of course, he also claimed that the cards will start at 6GB of GDDR6, which is different from a previous leak that said it started at 4. Now, with all of that said, this is obviously just a leak, so it's not always right. But at the end of the day, this is a good reminder to not get your hopes up too high. Hopefully, if this is true, Intel can figure something out to make these better before launch. And lastly for today, while Zen 3 Plus may be cancelled, Zen 4 is looking better than ever. This story originally comes from Red Gaming Tech. And while it is a few days old, I had to go over it, especially since not many others are. Anyway, in the video, he goes over AMD's upcoming Zen 4 based CPUs. And let's just say I'm really excited. For one, I will say that according to him, it looks like the core count will remain the same. But that's okay, because also according to him, Zen 4 is set to get an average of 40 to 45% IPC increase going from Zen 2 to Zen 4. So yes, I do want to say again that we're talking from Zen 2, but still, that's around a 20% increase on average from Zen 3. And yes, I said average, so not up to or anything like that. Either way, if this is correct, Intel is in serious trouble, especially if they really are getting lower performance than they expected out of Alder Lake. At the end of the day, AMD is on the warpath, and if Intel doesn't do something soon, they could be left in the dust. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's Zen 4 based CPUs or are you waiting for Alder Lake? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!